So right in time for Friday video time, a big thunderstorm is happening in the Panama headquarters. So bear with me, this will be a little bit more dramatic than usual. Happy Friday, superstar! Marika is here taking over today's video to share with you a personal anecdote I know you'll love. Besides, I'm the CEO of the series and I should be allowed to take over every once in a while, right? So, too. so last week a miracle happened. This lady that you see right here was featured on US News and World Report. I kid you not, my friend. I kid you not. Do you remember the Care Bears? I wanna be a Care Bear. Oh, it'll be so great when I'm a Care Bear. But I can hardly wait to be a Care Bear and do the things that Care Bears do. Oh, I wanna be a Care Bear. Like you! Yeah, that's me, cruising on every single cloud. Still, to say the least, I feel so humbled and grateful for all the Facebook likes, the Twitter shares, the friends and family, hip hip hoorays, the confetti, hubby's kisses, so much love and so much adrenaline. Oh my god, I, I, I love it. But here goes the story that I've been meaning to share with you. So a couple of days after the feature, when I no longer had the shocking, surprising face of being featured, it looked like that, and the miracle began to sink in. I knew I had to digest all of these memories and all of these sentiments that I, that I didn't know how they were going to fit inside of my frame. So I went next door to my mom, because she's my neighbor, and I wanted her to help me deal with everything that had happened. Of course, she did, because moms have superpowers. And as I was getting ready to leave my daughter and mom session, I turned around and I told her, Mom, next time, it's going to be the New York Times. And then she smiled. But this way it was different. This way it was, it, it was different than the time that I told her I was going to quit my job, my traditionally successful job. It was different than the time I told her I was going to put a PayPal button in my page and people were going to buy one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with me. It was different. It was a kind of smile that was assuring and reaffirming and the, kinds of, uh, the kind of smile that, that makes you understand that the person gets you completely. And she replied, you will never stop dreaming, will you? As if she really didn't want me to. To stop dreaming. And then she shared the most magical story. The ones only moms know how to, how to tell. It was passed on from her to me, and now from daughter to you. I hope you love it. It's the story of an Argentinian film director called Fernando Birri, who was asked to speak at a university in Cartagena de Indias. To a panel of students. After his talk, he opened the floor to questions. Of course, he answered them beautifully. And then one student stood up, the smarty pants student that always comes along. Smarty pants student stood up and said, so Fernando, what, what is the purpose of utopia? What is the purpose of utopia? Seriously? I mean, parenthesis here, yikes. I don't know about you, but if I was asked that question on the spot, I would A, flip out, to fake that I have to go pee, or C, expect the worst. But no, Fernando, oh, Fernando Miri responded brilliantly and in the best way. He said, utopia is on the horizon, and I know I can never reach it. If I walk 10 steps, she will walk 10 steps away from me. I know that the more I look for it, the more I seek it, the less I will find it. Because as I approach, she goes and moves away from me. So what is the purpose of utopia? Brilliant question. The purpose, the reason why it exists, is precisely that, to walk. And today I felt this urge, this urge to tell you that you have the right to dream. You have the right to think bigger. You have the right to imagine better. 
You have the right to play the size of a T-Rex. You have the right to walk. Next week, I will talk about the power of dreaming. I will help you differentiate between dreaming and wishful thinking because there's a thin line there. And I also will share with you four blocks that prevent you from reaching your dreaming potential. You really want to stay tuned for that one. But for now, I want to know, I want to know about your miracles. Have you ever experienced something so remarkable that you felt it, it couldn't fit inside of your body? Tell me all about it. Tell me all about it in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed today's video enough to share it with the whole world. And for me, my imaginary clock is telling me that it's time to say goodbye. But just for now. See you next Friday. Bye-bye. For me, my imaginary clock is telling me that it's time to say goodbye. But just for now. I told you about the thunderstorms.